Africa is a treasure trove of astonishing discoveries that never cease to amaze the scientific community. These findings are so extraordinary, they'd be hard to believe without seeing them with your own eyes. Today, we're excited to unveil some of the most staggering scientific finds from the African continent. Number 16, Homo naledi. We had the groundbreaking discovery of a new human species, Homo naledi, back in 2013. Deep within South Africa's rising star cave system, a team of intrepid cave explorers chanced upon a hidden cache of bones, remnants of a species previously unknown to us. Navigating the cave was no easy feat. The tight passageways and sharp rocks meant that adults couldn't get through. So, a group of young women, just the right size for the task, was assembled. The bones they found were a mix of old and new traits, suggesting Homo naledi might have lived right alongside our own ancestors, Homo sapiens, possibly influencing the course of our evolution. The small brain size of Homo naledi, about a third of ours, contrasts with their hands and feet, which hint at a surprising dexterity. This suggests they might have been capable of intricate tasks and perhaps even shared a social structure akin to ours. Yet, the true age of Homo naledi is shrouded in mystery. Radiometric dating places them between 236,000 and 335,000 years old, but their precise spot in our evolutionary timeline is still up for debate. The enigma deepens when considering how these Homo naledi individuals ended up in their final resting place. Was this chamber a sacred burial site? Or did a tragic twist of fate lead a whole group of our ancient relatives into a lethal trap? Scientists are still piecing together this puzzle. Number 15. The Blue Hole. Tucked along Egypt's Red Sea coast, the Blue Hole beckons, a natural marvel that's ensnared the souls of divers and thrill-seekers for generations. In Dahab, this underwater chasm plunges over 100 meters, its sheer cliffs cascading into the abyss of crystal clear waters. The Blue Hole isn't for the timid. Only certified seasoned divers can navigate its depths with safety. Yet those who brave its embrace find their courage rewarded. Amidst the deep blue, a ballet of colorful fish flits by vibrant corals, a submerged tapestry alive with wonder. But beneath its allure, the Blue Hole harbors a somber legacy. It's a siren that sung too sweetly for many an unseasoned diver, branding it one of the globe's most perilous dive sites. Though records are scarce, whispers tell of up to 200 souls lost to its depths. Among them was Yuri Lipsky, a Russian-Israeli diving maestro, whose fate in April 2000 became a haunting refrain in the diving community. Laden with weights, Lipsky descended, his helmet camera the silent witness to a journey from which he'd never surface. At depths beyond 300 feet, the water's embrace can turn treacherous. Divers face nitrogen narcosis, a delirious dance of hallucinations and overconfidence, where judgment falters and even the experienced can falter. Yet despite its grim toll, the Blue Hole's call remains undimmed. It lures adventurers from every corner of the earth, each yearning to defy their limits, to court the enigma of the deep. It's an irresistible call, a challenge that echoes in the heart of every diver. Number 14. Dead Vlay. In the heart of the Namib Desert, there's a place that seems lifted from a dream. It's called Dead Vlay, a barren white clay pan, home to a haunting array of ancient trees. These once thriving giants have been scorched black by the relentless African sun. It's a stark contrast to 900 years ago when Dead Vlay, meaning Dead Marsh, was an oasis bursting with life. But as the climate shifted and the desert grew, towering dunes severed the valley from its life-giving waters. The lush forest withered, leaving only the skeletal remains of trees that now stand as stark silhouettes against the sky. Their twisted branches reach out like bony fingers, frozen in time by the harsh, dry climate that's prevented their decay. These eerie, enduring sentinels of the past now draw photographers, filmmakers and adventurers worldwide eager to capture their haunting beauty. 
The stark contrast of the white clay against the blackened trees casts a dramatic, otherworldly glow, and the absence of any greenery whispers of a desolate, forgotten world. Number 13. East African Rift Valley In the heart of East Africa, within Ethiopia's Afar region, lies a geological wonder that has seized the imaginations of scientists and explorers alike, the ongoing division of Africa. For eons, the African continent has been gradually splitting, and the Afar region stands at the epicenter of this astounding phenomenon. Nestled at the convergence of three tectonic plates, the Nubian, Arabian, and Somalian, this region is a battleground of geological forces. These plates are in perpetual conflict, thrusting and wrenching away from each other. Consequently, the Earth's crust here is exceptionally fragile, allowing magma from deep within to breach the surface. This gives rise to a surreal landscape peppered with volcanoes, steaming hot springs, and spouting geysers. Amidst this tumultuous setting, Africa's division unfolds. The clearest marker of this gradual but relentless process is a 35-mile-long chasm which emerged in 2005. This rift, part of the storied East African Rift Valley, plunges over 50 feet deep and stretches 65 feet wide. Number 12. Sahara Desert Close your eyes and picture the Sahara Desert. What comes to mind? A boundless sea of sand, the relentless sun blazing above, and not a drop of water in sight. Yes, that's the Sahara. Immense, scorching, and unforgiving. It's the largest hot desert on Earth, spanning a staggering 9.2 million square kilometers, nearly as vast as China itself. But the Sahara holds secrets. Can you believe, just 11,000 years ago, it was a different world? A lush oasis teeming with lakes, rivers, and verdant grasslands, home to hippos, antelopes, elephants, and more. This green Sahara was a product of Earth's ever-shifting orbit, a cycle repeating every 23,000 years. As our planet tilts, it alters the solar rays piercing our atmosphere. During this verdant era, the tropics basked in more sunlight, and rains nourished what is now barren land, fostering a rich tapestry of life. Yet, around 5,000 years ago, the Sahara began its transformation back to a desert a change driven by natural forces, not human hands. Despite its current arid state, there's a glimmer of hope. Experts predict that in about 15,000 years, the cycle may come full circle, reawakening this sleeping giant. Number 11. The Town Child. Now let's journey back in time to a pivotal moment in human history. In the limestone quarries of Buxton, a tiny skull emerged, a child's. Raymond Dart, an anatomist and anthropologist, saw its profound significance. He proposed that these remains belong to an early human ancestor, Australopithecus africanus, who roamed the earth some 2.8 million years ago. The town child, as it came to be known, defied the prevailing belief that our ancestors hailed from Europe. It stood as the first early human fossil discovered in Africa, supporting the idea that this vast continent is humanity's cradle. The town child bridged the gap between apes and humans with a blend of features from both worlds. From 1936 to 1947, more fossils surfaced in South Africa, bolstering Dart's theory. Today, the town child is a treasure, a beacon in our quest to understand our origins. Its discovery reshaped paleoanthropology, forever altering our narrative of human evolution. Number 10. Mauritius. Mauritius, the stunning island southeast of Africa's coast, is a treasure trove of diverse flora, fauna, and breathtaking coral reefs. Among these natural marvels lies an incredible sight that has long captivated visitors, an underwater waterfall. From the shore, it may seem unremarkable, but once you soar above in a helicopter, a truly mesmerizing scene unfolds. The shoreline seems to cascade into a magnificent waterfall beneath the waves, a sight that's nothing short of awe-inspiring. 
However, this so-called waterfall is, in truth, an optical illusion. Sand and silt deposits tumble down the slope, plunging into the ocean's depths below. As they drift off the ocean floor, they craft the illusion of a waterfall, or the island being swallowed by an immense drain. Though it's not an actual waterfall, this phenomenon continues to enchant visitors to Mauritius, who marvel at the island's extraordinary natural beauty in the Indian Ocean. Number 9. The Great Pyramid of Giza Located around 700 miles south of the Great Pyramid of Giza and about 60 miles west of the Nile lies a stone complex that rivals even the famous Stonehenge of England. It's known as the Nabta Playa. The Nabta Playa was first discovered in the 1970s by a team of archaeologists. They found a series of stone structures that appeared to be aligned with the stars, leading some to refer to the site as the Stonehenge of Africa. But unlike its more famous counterpart in England, the Nabta Playa is much older, dating back over 7,000 years. The site includes a series of stone circles, megaliths, and other structures, which are thought to have been used for astronomical observations and as a calendar to track the changing seasons. The ancient people who built these structures were likely nomadic herders who traveled through the region with their animals. The most significant structure of the Nabta Playa is the calendar stone circle, which is made up of four pairs of large stones and an assortment of smaller ones. Archaeoastronomers and archaeologists confirmed in a study published in 2007 that the stones were possibly aligned with the stars Sirius and Arcturus, the star system Alpha Centauri, and the belt of Orion. It's important to note that the site's historic importance was threatened after tourists and visitors began defacing the stones and moving them around, eventually changing the alignment. In response, the stones were relocated to the Nubian Museum in Aswan, Egypt, where visitors can now view the monument in its original formation from a safe distance. Number 8. Burkina Faso In the lakeside village of Bazul, Burkina Faso lies an unusual phenomenon that defies the norm of what we know about crocodiles. While crocodiles are known for their deadly nature and ruthless reputation, in Basel they have a different reputation, one that involves being friendly and even playful with humans. According to local legend, the unexpected relationship with these predators goes back to at least the 15th century. At that time, a drought hit the small village of Bazul leaving its inhabitants thirsty and desperate. That was when guardian crocodiles emerged and led the thirsty villagers to a hidden pond where they could quench their thirst. To show their gratitude, the villagers threw a party to thank these crocodiles, and this marked the beginning of a special bond between the two. Every year, the locals celebrate a grand ceremony called Lacra, where they make sacrifices and ask the crocodiles to grant their wishes for health, prosperity, and a good harvest. In Bazul, it's not unusual to find crocodiles in the compounds of local families during the dry season. At other times, these crocodiles wander into the village, seeking safe places to lay their eggs. The locals protect the nests from predators, believing these harmless creatures represent the souls of their ancestors. They even hold funerals for the crocodiles when they die, burying them in coffins similar to those used for humans. Number 7. The Bird of Saqqara In 1898, archaeologists discovered an artifact that sparked the imaginations of researchers and laypeople alike. This artifact, known as the Saqqara Bird, was excavated from a tomb in Saqqara, Egypt. Estimated to be 2200 years old, it's shaped like a modern-day airplane with the head of a bird. Its wingspan measures 180 mm and it weighs 39.12 g. Despite its age, the Saqqara bird's purpose remains a mystery. The lack of documentation from the period when it was made only adds to the mystery. Its enigmatic nature has fueled speculation that the ancient Egyptians may have understood the principles of aerodynamics. Some believe that the Saqqara bird could have been a working model of an aircraft or glider. However, not everyone is convinced. Mainstream researchers suggest that the Saqqara bird is nothing more than a child's toy, a carving of an actual bird or an early weather vane. 
However, the controversy surrounding the Saqqara bird continues to this day. What do you think? Could the ancient Egyptians have possessed knowledge of aerodynamics that we've yet to uncover, or is the Saqqara bird simply a fascinating but ultimately mundane artifact? Number 6. The Desert Fairy Circles In the vast and seemingly barren desert of Namibia lies a mystery that has stumped scientists for decades, the Namibian Fairy Circles. These puzzling circles, each about 39 feet in diameter, appear as perfectly round patches of barren earth surrounded by lush vegetation. What's more, millions of them spread across 1,100 miles of the arid grasslands of southern Africa. Numerous theories have been proposed over the years to explain the origins of these circles, but none have been able to provide a definitive answer. One theory suggests that the presence of the fairy circles is the work of termites eating away at the grass from its roots. Others suggest that the plants were somehow being prompted to grow in this unusual pattern on their own. Some even speculate that they may hold the key to understanding how life can thrive in such a harsh environment. Visitors to the region can explore the fairy circles on foot or by air, marvelling at their unusual beauty and pondering the mystery that surrounds them. Whether the circles are the work of mystical fairies or simply a natural phenomenon, they remain one of the most fascinating mysteries of the natural world. Number 5. Voodoo a widely practiced religion in West Africa has spread to other parts of the world due to abundant slave trades. However, the small country of Benin is considered the birthplace of voodoo. In fact, over 40% of the population follows voodoo as an official religion. Benin even celebrates Voodoo Day as a public holiday and has a national voodoo museum dedicated to this unique religion. Despite its reputation as evil or black magic, for the people of Benin, voodoo is a complete way of life. It encompasses culture, philosophy, language, art, dance, music, and medicine. The voodoo spiritual world consists of Mahu, the supreme being, and about 100 divinities who represent different phenomena such as war, illness, healing, earth, storms, and many other things. Voodoo priests invoke these gods to intervene on behalf of ordinary people. They may also use herbs to cure the sick or possibly to poison enemies. In some cases, offerings such as a chicken, sheep or alcohol are given to the divinity either as a request for help or as gratitude for wishes granted. People seek help from voodoo priests on a variety of issues including curing diseases, finding a job completing a business deal, finding a spouse, or having a child. Number 4. African Goliath Frog Now, let's talk about the African Goliath frogs. When we think of frogs, we usually imagine small, solitary amphibians. But let me introduce you to the largest frog in the world, the Konrawa Goliath, also known as the African Goliath Frog. This enormous amphibian can grow up to 12.5 inches long and weigh up to 7.2 pounds, making it as big as some house cats. These giant frogs reside in small ranges in the rainforests of Western Africa, close to swift-moving rivers and waterfalls. Just like other frogs, they require to be close to water. At night, they sit on river rocks to search for food. They feed on insects, crustaceans, fish and other amphibians. You would think that such a large frog would make a loud croak, but goliath frogs are mute as they don't have a vocal sac. Breeding for goliath frogs is different from most other frogs. The male constructs a nest of rocks and gravel near the riverbank and engages in wrestling matches with other males to breed with females. Wrestling and moving rocks may explain why males are larger than females, which is unusual for frogs. The female lays thousands of eggs in the nest, and after that, the parenting ends. They don't even wait for the eggs to hatch. Sadly, these incredible creatures are endangered. Human activities such as farming, logging, and human settlements are encroaching on their forest habitat. Furthermore, they are hunted for their meat, which puts them at risk. Number 3. The Gay People of Ghana Let's travel to the southern coast of Ghana. 
Here, death is not a gloomy affair, but a fashionable one. The Gar people of Ghana have taken the art of coffin making to a whole new level with their remarkable fantasy coffins. These coffins are not the typical caskets you might have in mind. Instead, they come in different shapes and designs that represent the deceased person's profession, passion, or status. For instance, a microphone-shaped coffin is used for a musician or a public speaker, while a car-shaped coffin is made for a driver. An airplane-shaped coffin is designed to honor a pilot, and a lion-shaped coffin is used for a chief. The craftsmanship involved in designing these coffins is awe-inspiring, with intricate details that leave many amazed. These coffins have become so popular that they are now being exported to other countries, including the United States and Europe. While these coffins might seem quirky, even bizarre to some, they hold a significant place in the Jia culture and tradition. They serve as a vibrant celebration of the deceased person's life and achievements, helping families and communities bid farewell in a unique and memorable way. Number two, the new widow spider of Africa. In 2014, a spider with a striking appearance was discovered in South Africa's Temba Elephant Park. It boasted an eye-catching exclamation mark-shaped blotch on its back and a unique, squiggly white pattern that eerily resembled a human face, mouth agape in horror. Scientists have since identified it as a new species, the Finder button spider. This spider is a close relative of the black widow, redback, and catapo spiders and is potentially the largest widow spider in the world. Barbara Wright, the explorer who originally discovered this stunning spider at the Tembe Elephant Park warns that the finder button spider's venom is neurotoxic. A bite from this spider necessitates immediate medical attention. And if that wasn't enough, female finder button spiders also sport bright red spots on their underbellies, and their egg sacs are a mesmerizing shade of purple, each sac containing about 600 hatchlings. This is one spider you'd want to steer clear of. Number 1. The Untouched Rainforest of Mozambique Atop Mount Lyco in northern Mozambique, some 700 meters above sea level, lies a hidden rainforest that very few have had the pleasure of seeing. It's a secret ecosystem, protected by a steep circle of rock that has remained untouched by humans for centuries, making it a remarkable discovery for scientists. Interestingly, the locals knew about the mountain but the forest itself was only discovered in 2012 by a biologist named Julian Bayless, who spotted it on satellite imagery. However, it wasn't until 2017 that he revealed his groundbreaking discovery to the world. What makes this rainforest so unique is that it has experienced only natural disturbances, such as droughts, over the centuries rather than human interference. As a result, it is home to a vast array of plants and animals that have adapted to this pristine environment, providing scientists with valuable insights into the past and future of our natural world. The discovery of this hidden rainforest is an incredible find, and it shows that there are still so many secrets waiting to be uncovered in the natural world. We hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one.